Hey, what's up guys? This is Ricky V. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you how to increase muscle bulk using pro hormones. Now, this is a short step-by-step -step guide that I'm going to give you to help you increase your muscle mass using the vintage muscle pro hormones. This is a quick, very informative video, guys. So keep watching. Now, the first step is you want to choose the pro hormones that are going to help you gain that mass. The ones that are most suited for bulking. In that case, you want to go with Rad Mass, Titan Spray, Equimass, and stack it along with something like 19 Nor or maybe some Epitest. Rat Mass and 19 Nor, that is a classic bulking stack. Titan Spray along with 19 Nor, also a great stack. Equimass along with Epitest, that is a hardcore bulking stack. These are nice, simple two product stack guys anyone can use. Now, the second step is to make sure that you're eating enough. You want to make sure to eat enough high quality calories throughout the day. If you're trying to bulk, eating six meals a day is a good way to go about it. It keeps insulin release nice and high throughout the day, and that's just going to help you build more mass. Six more meals. Don't be afraid of carbohydrates. You need the carbohydrates in your system in order to fuel your workouts, to fuel your muscle pumps, to help you build that baseline mass. Carbohydrates are incredibly important here, so don't slack. And make sure you're ingesting one to two grams of protein per pound of desired body weight every day. That's right, bro. If you're trying to gain 20, 30, 40 pounds, then you must take those pounds into account when you increase your protein intake. Now, the third step in order to gain that mass is to make sure to concentrate on compound movements, squats, deadlifts, all different angles of the bench press, incline, decline, flat bench, those big movements that require a lot of different muscles all working at once. That's what's going to give you that big look. And obviously, you want to do dumbbell work for those lagging body parts. If your shoulders or your biceps or your forearms or there's any parts of your body that are not developing at the rate you like them to, make sure to give those body parts some dumbbell work, specific exercises to build those up. The fourth step is you want to avoid cardio. It's all right to get a little bit of cardio in just to keep your heart health going. Get in a quick 10, 15 minute run every other day. It's a great way to keep your heart healthy, but you do not want to do 30, 45 minutes of cardio every time you hit the gym. That's not going to help you gain mass. And if you did something like that, you would have to offset it by eating way more calories throughout your day to offset the cardio. If you're trying to bulk, minimizing the amount of cardio you do is the best way. And now for the final step in this video, you want to make sure to take progress pictures. Take pictures every week, every other day if you want. Make sure you go to the same spot, same lighting, and take those pictures. Track your progress. And pair the pictures along with a journal where you're writing down how much you weigh on the scale every day. Keeping track of your progress is going to help you keep motivated. It is going to help you make any changes that may be necessary. And as always, guys, make sure you visit the Vintage Muscle community. Head over to vintage-muscle.com and click on the community link. As of today, we're nearing 21,000 strong and counting. Just come on in. Let everybody know you're bulking, what your goals are, where you stand today, and where you would like to be. And there are plenty of other brothers there, just like you, on the same journey you are right now, trying to gain that mass. And we're all there to help each other out and answer each other's questions. I'll be there. I'll answer your questions too. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.